Today's video is on the top five tiniest cars. Number five, Commuter Cars Tango. Commuter Cars was a startup company from the US with a fresh perspective on the car market. They designed an electric vehicle that not only had zero emissions, but was half the width of a standard car, which allowed for more to fit on the roads and made parking a lot easier. There's room inside for two passengers, one behind the other. And possibly the most amazing thing about the Tango was that it could reach speeds of up to 130 miles per hour. It came with a huge price tag, however, having initially launched at a cost of $150,000. The designs haven't exactly taken off though, the first car was delivered to George Clooney in 2005, and despite his involvement in promotion, the second was only completed by 2008. To date, fewer than 20 have been made in total, and it seems that commuter cars' dreams of changing urban driving was a mere fantasy. Number 4. Brush Mopeta The Brush Mopeta was built for the 1956 International Bicycle and Motorcycle Exhibition in Frankfurt, Germany and was billed as the world's smallest car. This original version was fabricated overnight and didn't actually work, but following interest from several countries at the exhibition, a functioning model was produced that was fitted with a 50cc ILO motor. The body of the vehicle was made from fiberglass, and this led to its creator also marketing it as a personal boat, despite not being watertight at all. Some of the original promotion images, therefore, show the car floating across the stream but it's suspected that this was taken when it was driving through a few inches of water. The design went into production in the Horex factory in Germany, but due to underwhelming public interest, only 14 were ever made. Still, with a length of five and a half feet and a width of just under three feet, it remains one of the smallest cars to ever be conceived. Number three, the Isetta. The Isetta was initially designed by Iso Spa, an Italian company, in 1952. As a refrigerator and scooter company, the aesthetic was quite different compared to other cars at the time, and it was often referred to as a bubble car. Despite being unusual, this micro car went on to be very popular and was even redesigned by BMW to sell in their domestic market. It was 7.5 feet long and 4.5 feet wide and had a 236cc motorcycle engine which means that you could actually drive one if you only had a motorcycle driver's license. If you're looking at the image and wondering where the doors are, the answer is one of the most unique features of the Isetta. The entire front, including the steering wheel and instrument panel, swings open to allow access. In the event of a crash, those inside the car would, therefore, have to exit through the sunroof. Isettas were produced between 1953 and 1961 by four different manufacturers for their respective territories and BMW alone sold 161,728 of them, which meant they were, at the time, the best-selling single-cylinder car in the world. As the market moved on, though, demand for a vehicle like this vanished, and they were consigned to history. Number 2. Eshelman Sport Car Nowadays, most people's idea of what a sports car looks like is quite similar, but back in the 1950s, the term was somewhat up for interpretation. In 1956, an agricultural company run by Cheston L. Eshelman and with a history of building garden tractors decided to enter the personal vehicle market. This led to the creation of their Eshelman Sport Car, something that certainly doesn't hold up to modern car designs and probably at the time turned heads for all the wrong reasons. At just over 5 feet long and 3 feet wide, it was a surprisingly heavy 385 pounds. This happened because the cars were made mainly from cast parts, a decision that was made to make construction easier and cheaper. They were available in yellow or red, had no suspension, no instruments, no way to charge the battery, and brakes that consisted of a paddle pressing on each tire. The engine was started by pulling a rope, and to accelerate, you press down on the pedal marked GO and to brake, you pressed on the one labeled as stop. To turn off the engine, you had to put your finger through a hole in the hot engine compartment and feel around for the kill button. It's perhaps fortunate then that the engine produced 8.25 horsepower and that the top speed of this car was only 20 miles per hour. Not content with only having one model on offer, Eshelman actually designed four different versions. You could choose between the sport car, the child sport car, the adult sport car, and the model 200. 
If the standard ones weren't enough for you, then there was the option of upgrading to a deluxe model. This included a thin seat cushion and chrome-plated rockets, which surely would have made you the envy of all your neighbors. Number 1. The Peel P50 The 1960s saw a revolution in car designs across the world, and it was the decade during which the smallest ever production car was made. Designed by the Peel Engineering Company that was based on the Isle of Man, the P50 was 4 feet and 5 inches long and 3 feet 3 inches wide. To allow such a small size, quite a few decisions had to be made in regard to features you'd normally expect to see in a car. It only had three wheels, for example, and didn't have a reverse gear. If you wanted to go backward, you had to get out and pull it by hand instead. Furthermore, there was only one headlight, one windshield wiper, and of course, only room for one person inside. P50s could reach a top speed of 38 miles per hour, but reaching such a breakneck velocity wasn't advised as the fittings would all begin to rattle and the steering would struggle to remain responsive. For all its trade-offs, the car's size offered a major advantage. Owners would have no trouble finding somewhere to park, and it would easily fit inside your house, office, or even in an elevator. The designers began with the minimum dimensions needed for a car and built everything else around that. The original prototype, made from fiberglass, debuted at the Cycle and Motorcycle Show in 1962, and following interest, it went into production, eventually being marketed as being big enough to carry one adult and a shopping bag. In the end, though, during the following three years, only 50 models were produced. They each cost 199 pounds, but anyone fortunate enough to have kept one all this time could be in for a windfall. Only 27 are thought to still exist, and recently, one sold at auction in California for $140,250. Number 2. Honorable Mentions The Smallest Roadworthy Car Not all of the world's tiniest cars went into production, and the current record for the smallest roadworthy car is one that was custom-built. It was made by Austin Colson from Phoenix, Arizona, and measured just 25 inches high, 2 feet 1.7 inches wide, and 4 feet 1.7 inches long. Colson had always wanted to hold a world record, and his interest in automobiles seemed to be the perfect fit. His miniature Jeep was electric-powered and was able to reach a top speed of 25 miles per hour. He used the body from a 57 Chevy Bel Air and the transmission and drivetrain from a quad bike, and fitted it with everything you'd expect – headlights, taillights, seatbelts, a horn, a 9-inch by 3-inch windshield, and a license plate tag that says, I'm big. In designing the exterior, he took inspiration from the P-1 Mustang military aircraft and also paid homage to his family's naval service during the Second World War. The side of the Jeep is inscribed with a tail number from his grandfather's ship, and he often drives it at local veterans' parades, where his mini Jeep always draws cheers from the crowds. Cozy Coupe the first car that people of recent generations probably drove was the Little Tyke's Cozy Coupe. The toy car first hit the market in 1979, and by 1991 was selling more than half a million units a year, which led to the New York Times calling it the world's best-selling car for most of the decade in 1998. The problem, of course, was that Cozy Coupes didn't have engines, nor were they road legal, and this posed a problem for the kids who loved them from their childhood as they grew up. This didn't get in the way of two English brothers, though, who built their own adult version. To create it, they converted a Daewoo Matisse after noticing that this model had a very similar front to the little tyke's car. With space for a driver and a passenger, the finished version could reach a speed of 70 miles per hour because of its petrol engine and was fitted with headlights, mirrors, and even airbags. The car proved to be a real crowd-pleaser, and the brothers got a great response from everyone they drove past, as this is probably the most recognizable car design in the world. Unfortunately for them, though, there was no real way to monetize their creation, and very little demand from people willing to pay the $45,000 it would cost them to create. They resorted to selling it for a fraction of this price to recoup some funds, which they'd be able to put towards their next idea.
I hope you all enjoyed today's video, narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.